Hello everybody, welcome to this segment of Truck Driving Chat. We're going to make lobster rolls today. For those of you that know me, and those of you that don't, I'm Chef Abby, the Truck Driving Chat. Anywho, you might end up getting yourself a little bit of a history lesson on top of all of this, because I am a little bit of a master chef coming to the roadways to help you guys become healthier. I drive too. <laughs> and I teach how to drive. And I'm a recruiter for one of the best companies in the whole wide world, Free Carrier Corporation. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get started here making this. I'm a bit late. <laughs> I was trying to get this stupid camera to work right on my new phone. <laughs> so, but anyway, I am going to, let me get something to drink here. My friends over at Wen20, Mr. Rob, gave me this nice little tumbler. I love it. Okay, let's set this back here. Right, now, what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to make a lobster roll. And I'm actually going to put on pita bread because one thing I always stress is being healthier about everything. So you want to stay away from as much bread as possible, right? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do with pita bread. It's normally served on a hot dog bun. It's been toasted with a bit of butter in a pan or on a grill. We're going to do just that, but with pita bread. So let me get started here. Um, granted, <laughs> it's quite an expensive dish these days. Because lobster, these days, is sort of a delicacy, um, you know, sort of an indulgence. But back in, believe it or not, back in the, I believe it was the 17th century, lobster was considered a part of a sign of poverty. And if you were wealthy and you served it, apparently you were reaching poverty level. Instead, people served it to their servants. Go figure, they wouldn't do that today. <laughs> Anywho, I got this, it's fully cooked. We're just going to saute it a bit more in some butter, garlic, and allow the natural juices and some clam juice as well. Um, then I got this, typically it's supposed to be like 20 something dollars a box. But somebody made a mistake at Walmart and stuck a $5 ticket on it, so I got it for 5 bucks. <laughs> so, and again, a cheaper meal for me anyway, this time round. <laughs> so, let's get started. And hope and pray we don't have any antics tonight. Hope it's be quick and easy. Alright, let's get started. Okay. We're going to take and take our new wave skillet here that I got the frying pan and we're going to place it on the burner and I love this stuff, it's really really good. Body armor. If you have a headache this stuff will take it away. It's got proper nutrients in it. Magnesium. Well, no, I don't think it's magnesium. It's got potassium, I know. Vitamin E, K, you know, B, so it's simple. But, I love this thing. Yes. Yeah, cool. I'm dying of thirst. You would think I wouldn't. I drank most of my water today. All right. We're using carry gold butter. It's the Irish cream butter real butter. We're going to use it tonight. Um, got the whites. <laughs> got to keep everything clean, including my hands. Alright, now, what we're going to do is actually um, plug this in. I'm using an Oster single solid burner and I know I'm not quite in the picture <laughs> very well and it's sort of close but not much I can do about that tonight. Um, I'm going to place this on a medium to a medium high. My Red Bull away. I love this stuff. It's the green from Red Bull. 
Ooh, so I could drink this stuff. I could probably have it run through my veins in an IV. It's really, really good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to place a little bit of butter into the pan. Um, you don't want a whole lot of it. And another thing too is lobster is, is a very great source of phosphorus and selenium. For those of you that have a thyroid problem um, and don't have, you know, have a thyroid that doesn't want to cooperate with us, with yourself, lobster is a good, good meat that you can actually eat with that. My butter is melting here. I think I had it out too long. <laughs> Anywho, all right, we're going to take some of this off of here. We're not going to use a whole lot. We're using a trucker's portion. One knob. It's about one teaspoon, tablespoon, whatever. One knob. Okay. Now, that away. And my hands all here. Now we want to use the juices that are in the lobster because we want it to be able to saute in with the clam juice. So we're going to let this melt up. And this is actually the, the meat from the claw of the lobster. And like I said, it's an expensive meal, but it feeds at least two people. That one little package, it makes about two of them. So it's eight ounces of lobster, which would have cost me about $25 in Connecticut. Now, while that's doing its deed there, we're going to cut up the veg. Now, we're going to be using lettuce in it as well. Um, I'm going to chop up a bunch of this here too. First, we're going to shake this up. Now, typically, you only want to really use one teaspoon of the juice because you don't want to overwhelm it with. Lobster. What it does is it actually brings out the flavour of the seafood. Okay, and for those of you joining us, it's going to be a great dish. You're only going to warm that and saute it a little bit. Now we're going to add some garlic to it, just a little bit. It's organic garlic powder, not too much. typically need any salt because the lobster is actually has its own sodium content in it. Now I'm using white pepper and many of you know why I use white pepper. White pepper actually helps fight cancer, inflammation. It also helps with um, digesting things. So all in all, most of the things that we're eating tonight healthy for you in a roundabout way. Now lobster on the other hand, now lobster has a, it has a high content of sodium so if you have heart condition I would watch the amount of intake that you take of that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually take this here. I washed these earlier because I had dirt in there, you know how they, it's like a root plant, you know, I washed them out. You're going to actually dice this into smaller pieces. Oh, that smells really good, by the way. This way you can see what we're doing. And with the new wave pans, slide this over here so you can see what I'm doing. This thing hates me today, but we very well it doesn't fall. Okay, we're a bit blurry there for a second. But you want to use silicon wooden or plastic when cooking with these copper pans. Now the Copper Chef, I've used some of his products recently so I have to take back what I've said about him. They work just as good as the New Wave product but because New Wave sends me things for the show to use on them, I have to use them. 
So we're just going to heat that up a little bit, let it cook for a little bit. We're going to simmer it down to about a medium low. And like I said, I'm using an Asa single solid burner. And it actually, you can get it at Walmart for $19.95 or $97 actually. And I'm going to, um, and then you, of course, you know, you have to have your surge protector on whenever you're cooking. And the inverter, the lorry, has to be on as well. Okay, we're going to dice these up. And this is typically to add a little bit of crunch to what you're eating. To the dish, I thought it would be nice to use. So I'm going to put a little bit in there. Not a whole lot of it, because you don't want to take away the flavor of the actual lobster roll itself. Now, celery is really good for you as well. It's loaded with all sorts of vitamin B12. So on and so forth. Okay, we'll put this into a container. You don't need a whole lot. So, and you can use these to make peanut butter sticks. Or you can pop them. All right. That said, we're moving on to the onion. Number one, I like to use the purple onion because it adds color. I know, Mom. Don't talk with my mouth all right. <laughs> Anywho. Okay. You want this color. I love the, the color of the purple. dice some of this up as well. Not too much in there because you don't want to, to take away again the flavor of the lobster. I had these in Maine with my last apprentice, uh, Miss Elizabeth, and she loved these things. And so bad she's not getting that up. She'd enjoy a lobster roll by me. <laughs> it's probably not the same as Maine, but it's close. known for giving you gas or heartburn. I know it gives me heartburn sometimes. Purple onion's not so bad, or the red onion as they call it. Okay. Now, that said, I think I forgot the mayo. Oh, I pulled it out. Crap, where'd I put it? Great. Now I lost the mayo. going to be good. <laughs> uh, got lemon juice. I'm going to use some of that in a minute too. Alright, that is done. Cooking for now. I know I had... Alright, I'm going to take this bowl. I told you I had it out. Okay. We're going to take this and we're going to take off the juices and let them strain. We're going to wipe out the pan. Allow some more butter to of baby wipes in my food. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to set this aside. Into the refrigerator so it cools down. Because you don't want hot mayo. Now, what we're going to do is, 
you better get in that boat. <laughs> I forgot to get out another boat. Alright. This one to here because I'm gonna take mix it up, which I'll put that into a bottle made up. And okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. Not a lot, just a little bit. About an eighth of a teaspoon. <laughs> he hates me tonight. Bloody antics. Cheesy crazy. I washed the lettuce earlier too. Okay. So, you don't need a lot. <laughs> it's only one person or two. It's about all you need. You can put this back in the package in which you bought it in. Use it for a sandwich. And I don't know where that's at. I swear it was here. <laughs> okay. Hold that thought. <laughs> we are using. Let me see if I can get this off here so you can read the label correctly. Bloody hell. Cheesy McCreasy. Okay. This is 
white Greek style. Now don't get the just pita pocket, the pita bread, because it's a, looks like a pocket. It's not flimsy like this. I like it like that. Okay. Now we're going to take and put some butter in the pan. Once I get it again, I'm going to turn this on medium. Oh. I just had that tab. Anybody see where it went? Because I don't. It's just not in the bloody lettuce. Well, crap! I'd lose my pot if it wasn't hooked on. At least that's what my mum used to say. Dad too. I actually think I would. Is it still back there? Yeah, it's still back there. <laughs> ah! Found it. <laughs> I tell you the truth, I have not prepared tonight like I normally am. I tried to be, but then I had an antic happen with this stupid thingy over here. It wasn't unplugged underneath the bed. The inverter was not plugged in. Okay, now we're going to get the butter. Carrie's gold butter. And we're going to line the pan with it. Okay. We don't want a whole lot in there, so you kind of want to just sort of take the heat and allow it to get in there. Because you're just going to toast it in the pan. You're not going to put a whole lot in there. You just want to have a nice toasted flavour. Pan toasted. Look at that. Okay, and you're only going to do one side. So it's going to be this side. Because you know when you turn it. Yeah, see? Because if you turn it like this, it's going to break. We don't want it to break. We Jewish people don't like our pita bed break it too much. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this side down. And you're going to let it roast inside there, see? Perfect fit. That's why I like that pita bread. So, wow, all of you finally starting to come on here, yeah? Hey Charlie, hey Bill, hey Chuck, hey Charlie again. Okay, now. With the lettuce done, put it in there. Celery is done. I could put peanut butter on it. Put celery aside. Onions are done. Wait, I need more celery. Where's a carrot? Probably. Oh, I know where the carrots are. I froze them by accident. <laughs> Not a good idea. You tend to hurt your teeth when you try to eat them. Okay. Lobster. Gotta get the lobster. Oh, perfectly cooled down. Wow. That's what you get when you put your truck fridge on seven. It turns into a bloody freezer. It's the end of mine. Oh, but you still have to leave out the plastic thing between the freezer and the refrigerator. I did that accidentally and froze everything inside. Not a good idea. Okay, now, that done. You want it to have a toasted flavour to it. It's not quite toasted yet. Go. Okay. Take the... I've got a lot of energy. More so than usual. Because I've been taking this stuff called Protandum. <laughs> and let me tell you. I've got to get a before picture and after picture to show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but we can give it a good shot. I actually have it on my tablet. We're going to post it later. But the, it's, it's outstanding, the difference. It's, it's insane. So for those of you that have known me, <laughs> know that I'm not that energetic. At least not this much, anyway. But... I'm going to see if I can pull up that before picture and after picture for you. Let's see. Pictures. Oh crap. Where the heck are the pictures? Leave it to me. I'm a blonde. I have trouble with these things. Let's see. Aha! This is a before and after picture of me. Photograph taken. I don't know if you can see it. Nope. 
No, we're gonna have to take it <laughs> post it later. I took a shower early and took all my makeup off. But oh well, such is life. But we're gonna post a before and after picture a little bit later. But Pro Tandem has really helped me a lot and gives me a lot of energy. Alright, we're gonna mix all this together, make it all nice and gooey and yummy. Sort of like a lobster salad. Now see if you if you if you wanted to, for those of you that don't want to eat bread because you're trying to watch your carbohydrates, you can actually take this and put it on a bit of lettuce. Green leaf lettuce at that. Don't use that. Don't you dare use that water stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Iceberg lettuce. Ugh, not good for you. Okay. I think we're gonna need a little bit more mayo. Not a whole lot though. Just a little bit to give it a good spit about. With a little bit more. There we go. A little bit thinner. Now, do you see that? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that colour. Alright. Oops. I'd probably help I do this. I wouldn't burn myself probably then. Okay, nice and toasted. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn this sucker off. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> Alright, this is what I'm gonna do for a lobster roll. We're going to put the lettuce down first. Make sure you break it off so you can chew it well. Okay, you don't need that much because this is enough for two people, so sort of have a little bit of it there. And I'm going to take and put the lobster roll stuff right in there. Oops, I dropped a piece of lobster on the countertop. <laughs> Still good though. Okay, one more good piece. All right, now. clean and my favorite dishes America the land I love and there you have it we have a lobster roll and it's too hot for me to try to bite out of <laughs> but if you wanted to let's see if I can handle this let's see how good it really is I made it it's good here we go. Ready? Mmm. <laughs> it's so good I can't even speak. <laughs> it's really, really good. Mmm. Absolutely fabulous. A lobster roll. I know, mother. No talking with me mouth for. Being ladylike, <laughs> lobster rolls done. You guys have a lovely evening and join us again next time. Keep the rubber on the road and the sunny side up. See you again next time. Cheers. Okay.